Hello and welcome to my latest video. I've just about finished doing the ballasting and the track area on the scrapyard. I've got that factory building in place. And my next is going to be adding some static grass around the edges and in the areas between the tracks and some ground cover and stuff. So I'll uh, I'll show you in the uh, the grass applicator in a second. Right. Um, I'm going to use some of this static grass, which is Woodland Scenics. That's uh, almost three three millimeters of static grass. And uh, the other one is I forgot it could be Gage Master someone, and that's that's six mil grass. Now, as we all know, they're really expensive are, are the applicators that you buy from Gage Master and the like. So there's lots of videos on how to make them, and that's what I've done. I've made my own. I've used uh, a fly swatter, electric fly swatter from uh, from the palm shop or Dollar Tree, wherever, and you just extend the earth and put a little nail or a tack in the end and take the positive wire to this, in this case it's a T-strainer and I've taped them all onto the handle and so when I push the button in it'll create a charge. And, but you have to discharge it and uh, otherwise it'll give you a crack like that. But it, uh, it can give you a, a nasty jump. Now I'm told, I'm told and I haven't tried it before but I'm going to try it now. But if you're going to apply static grass it's better to run it through a sieve first. And it separates better so I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm going to give it a whirl on here and see. I've got uh, I've got some of the long stuff, and I'm, this is just an experiment, so we'll have to go along with it. A pinch, a pinch of the long stuff. There, put that there, and a pinch of the short stuff. So I want it to mix. I don't want it all to be uniform. It's it's going in a scrapyard, isn't it? Not uh, we're not doing a Wimbledon type of lawn. Let's get that. So I'm just going to run that through there really quickly. I don't know if this is going to make any difference at all to its overall appearance uh, or the way it, it works, but we'll see. So I've just I've just run that now in, in, into the into the plastic bowl, and it, it'll I'll just put it all from there into uh, into this applicator. But first of all, I'm going to put that. Put that down there and I'm just going to go and get some glue. For the purposes of this test I've just used a little bit of PVA glue on there. I'm going to get the applicator uh, and I stick the nail in so it's earth into the glue there and I'm just going to chip those bits in and see what we get. Squeeze the button so that we're getting a positive charge and it's hopefully going to attract it down there and it's all going to be stood up nicely. Uh, on the area that we're looking to do. And I can see already it has. It is sort of sticking up. I don't know if you can see that too well. If I bring this over it, it, it will help stick it up even more. But it's not. The longer stuff hasn't really stood up right at all so I'm going to say what I've done with that sieve in the beginning has made no difference whatsoever however if you run this over it very close to it it, it does positively charge and, and drag and drag them so they're facing upright I don't know how well we can see that it's not the best picture is it that but it does, it does work. You can, if they're not stuck up enough, you see we've just made a bang there. If they're not stuck up enough, we can, we can run this applicator over it. I'll just move the camera angle. We can run this applicator over it and with, whilst the earth leads still in and create that positive charge to lift it up some more. I'm not impressed. <laughs> We've put it through the sieve. I don't think it's done anything, anything better. But I am impressed. 
it has started to stand up now now i've run it over now i've run it over i don't know which is the best way there you can see the grass standing up the long stuff there so it it works but whether that's because of the sieve i don't know i'm going to say no it isn't but that's all for now uh thank you all very much for dropping in and uh, i'll see you all again soon thank you very much